Although the system supports miscellaneous discounts where you can just type in a discount amount or a percentage, it's generally best to use a coupon. And in this case, this company's been using coupons for quite a while now. But what this does is it allows you to track exactly why you're giving a discount. So uh, you can have a family and friends discount at 100%, for example. And that way, when you get to the end of the year, you don't have an unknown discount line of $70,000 and you're wondering where it all went. So maybe you're using a 10% repeat customer discount and maybe you're giving some to schools. Maybe you're giving military discounts or a charity donation or friends and family like I mentioned. Anyway, these things all add up and we often have customers freaking out at the end of the year that they don't know where all the discounts came from and that's why you want to use coupons for this purpose. So you can add as many as you want and uh, when you click in, let's say, um, let me find an example here. Uh, well, let's see, color contest winner. So uh, this customer uh, or whoever was given this coupon code was going to get $95 off and it has an expiration date. Uh, and as far as the expiration date is concerned, that is the date of the event, not the date ordered. So the date of the event had to be before 831 of 2011. And um, that's it. So coupons are a great way to track your discounts and you can set expiration dates or if you leave it blank, it will never expire. Have fun with your coupons.